Oh my. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How Good you? evening. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. What about yourself? Amazing day, teacher. Amazing. Okay. Yes. Did you work today? You have an excellent day at work? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Awesome. What about the rest yep. of you? And the rest of you? How was your day? Did you do anything interesting today? Good evening. Good evening, Heidi. Good evening. How was your day, Heidi? My teacher and you? I had a very, very nice Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, they are usually busy, but for today, it was something that I could handle. <laughs> And uh, what about you? How was your day? Did you do something interesting today? Yes, teacher. Today I had my first interview in English. What? Yeah. <laughs> how is it? How is it? My, my, my purpose is to apply a new job in call center. Oh, all right. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. How was it? Well, it's good, but I need to, to uh, perfect some, some things in English. But it's good. It's my challenge. Okay. Anything that you would like to share with your classmate? Uh, yeah. For me, it was uh, difficult because uh, there, there are some things is difficult to me to talk. Yeah. When, for example, uh, when a call center, call center asked me, uh, about question, I uh, thinking a lot of to answer. This is my problem. But I understand the questions, but it's difficult to me to answer quickly. Do you remember the questions that they ask you? Uh, for example, uh, tell me about the experience work. My problem was uh, because I don't have a preparing my interview first mm, okay. yeah mm -hmm. yeah in this case that i need to prepare my interview about experience my, the time to experience about what etc oh. but it's in, interesting and it's my challenge my dream is work at the call center it, you will get it you, you'll see yeah you'll be patient yeah. Yeah, and for yeah. the next time, now you learn, okay, don't take it as a failure, take mm -hmm. it as experience, right? Yeah. So yeah. you are practicing, you are rehearsing, and uh, well, remember the question that they ask you, they are kind of almost the same questions for all interviews. Yes. Like for yes. example, that one, tell me about your experience. Um, yeah. uh, and the times uh, sometimes uh, they they ask you to to tell the time frame where you start working there um, the reason because of what you want to leave they sometimes ask you that yes the reasons why you want to leave or you want to change your job in yes. case that you are working and you find friends job, they ask you yes uh, another thing teacher i heard the uh, interviewer uh talking quickly when when interviewer uh, ask me about questions, uh, wow, well, talking quickly. They speak very fast, but yes. um, you can get a couple of words and understand yes. what are they asking you. And also, if you practice the frequent ask questions for them, it's easier mm -hmm. for you to to know what they're asking. Uh, yeah. they ask you tell me about yourself yes yeah, yes that they, they will always ask you that question and they they don't want to know if you have a bed 
if you it, you can combine uh, something yeah. personal, but you have to talk also about your abilities and your interests and your experience. Yes, yes, yes. In a professional field. I'm going I to feel, share something. But, uh, <laughs> but I felt excited. Yes. Yeah. For next time, um, it just practice the question yes. and how would you answer? Try to role play with you. Yes. You can do it in front of the mirror. Yes. Talking myself. Yes. yes. <laughs> Very good. So okay. congratulations. Thank you, teacher. And the rest of you? Did you do anything interesting today? Okay, so I see that some of you have been practicing in the platform, but there's some people that is still very behind. Remember that you need to have a, um, at least section one finished. And for the class number eight, you should have completed the section one, two, three, and the midterm exam. If you need help or you have an exercise that that you want for us to check together, you can tell me now before I start the class. Good evening, teacher. In this chat, in this chat. And let me see. All right. Okay, I see. Okay, very good. We're going to go there and check that exercise. Mm. Okay, I see here, section number two. Let's go there, number two. It's this one, the two that six, right? Right. Right, teacher, it's the same problem in this exercise, yes, in the first. Okay, so you you both are having issues with this exercise. Yes, yes, teacher. Right. Okay, let's do it together. And for the rest, uh, you can take notes. So when you get there, you will know how to answer them. So A is my problem. Which one? One A. One A. Okay, let's see the instructions. What should do with the following question? This is advice. Okay, we are for advice. Remember to use infinity financial when you write what is in bracket. Okay, no need to write what is in bracket. See. Teacher, a sore throat is a dolor de garganta. That is correct. Ah, okay. Let me see something here real quick. Oh, we don't need to use what is in bracket. So it's the whole exercise. Excuse me. Case is number one and number four, teacher. No. Okay, the number one is number one. Number one. Answer. Bye, mañana voy a ver a ver con a dónde está. Yes. Oh my God, it is important so no capital to take. I want to know writing that one. And the other was number one and the other? Only. Only the one. Walter? On number four, Me. teacher. Um, could be to visit, teacher, to attend, or to see. Wow. Uh -huh, because, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Okay. What to take is giving me wrong here. Okay, let's see if there's to take. Um, number add... four for me is to go to to go to okay so in number one to take some 
to take some. Okay. Yes, we need to add some. Tenemos que agregar el some. Ajá. Pero ajá, como dicen, no usar lo que está entre paréntesis, pero sí, el, el some, sí. <ríe> Podemos usar el some. To take some. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, teacher. And then for to see. Anybody else? Okay, if there are no questions, we two can. 11, teacher. The 211. Let's see. Wait one second, because ya me había salido de ahí. Vamos a regresar al 211. Section 2. Oh, yeah. Lady? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, teacher, uh, the number one, I need to two answers. Eh, en el uno. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Okay, sorry. To drink, to drink some. Veamos. To drink some. Veamos. Um, now it's no. not the given it correct. To take some. It would be the same. So it's. Oh, okay. Is it to take again? Yes, for me. Sí, se la da correcta en el to yes. take. Si lo repetimos. Sí. Sí, oh. solo, solo. Ah, bueno, entonces ha de ser to take. Ah, okay. Teacher, se, oh, yes. teacher, se escucha mucha interferencia. Yes, let us split. Um, Ok, thank you so much. To take. Ok, entonces tenemos to take some y la segunda sería la segunda opción to take. Yes, it's only. It. Only to take. Ajá, así como están aquí. En la primera vamos a poner to take some y la otra opción será to take. Good, thank you so much. And then the other was, eh, ¿cuál fue el otro ejercicio que me dijeron? Two por eleven. Two eleven, this one. Two eleven. The conversation with the mother can could may have right suggest or to capital errors. Okay, is it the problem with all of them or this one in a specific? No? Hay alguno en específico? B? El B. And two? Yes. For itchy eyes. Okay. Can I have? Ah, the number two is because it's like a conversation, right? Number two, what do you, what do you have or, let's try what have, I will try, so that can be sure. And okay, and here we finish the number two. Uh, sure. uh huh. Oh no, nothing. Okay, so for number two, it's have, and the part B, should. Thank you. Okay, you're more than welcome. Any other question? No more questions? Yes, I am a question. Okay, you have a question, Ricardo? What is that question? Yes, uh, you know, I, I am a, a new, new student. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand how much we do the exercise. Um, can we do the complete exercise, section one, two, three, four, five, no matter the class, 
or because I I just complete the section one because we we see the the section one the last the last mm -hmm. class. Yes. Um my recommendation yes and it is for you to complete and go ahead as much as you can tienen que adelantarse lo más que puedan porque ya para la segunda semana por eso se les pide que para la segunda semana tengan ya por lo menos el 80% completado o al menos para la segunda semana ya tienen que ir a la mitad como avance mínimo entonces el, eh, lo mejor que pueden hacer es adelantarse porque para reservar el cupo para el siguiente módulo eh, están viendo el avance que usted ha tenido en la plataforma. Si ven que no ha avanzado, puede ser tomado como que a lo mejor no está conectándose a las clases o no está interesado en seguir. Se, se puede tomar como falta de interés y ya no les reservan el cupo. Entonces sí, es, es necesario que se adelanten lo más que puedan y por eso este, si de repente se topan con un ejercicio que no entienden pero lo quieren avanzar, igual lo pueden dejar ahí y seguir avanzando con los demás para que les vaya subiendo el puntaje y luego lo vemos en clase el ejercicio o si no lo entienden lo explicamos también. Ok, I got it. Thank you. Ok, good. And the rest of you, any other question? Ok, so we're going to continue with the section number one uh, that we're going to finish it today. So let's make this bigger. Me da miedo cuando está cerca de la barrita esa. Vamos a hacerlo bien. Okay, so for today we have the video about the modal verbs can and should. When do we use them? How do we use them? What is the difference? That's what we're going to see in that video. And after that, we're going to practice for a little while and try to start the section number two. So this is the video about the models. Let me share my sound, okay. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb, plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay, so what did you understand from the video? Uh, we can use a, a shoe for advice. You can use a can for ability or suggest. 
Yeah. Okay, very yeah. good. What else? Teacher, what is the meaning of neither and either? Okay, neither, you're gonna use it in a negative statements. It's como decir tampoco, neither. Y el either is like for affirmative, right? Okay, thanks. You're more than welcome. Any other question? Teacher, for um, the can is, is affirmative for me. Tell me it's correct. It's affirmative or negative. In Chul, it's a can you okay both uh, ambos los puede usar como affirmative and negatives right so and the the main difference is that um well uh, the we use can we're expressing like a as it's like um el can es como más strong Right? Eh, ambos lo estamos usando acá para dar como sugerencia, ¿verdad? Pero el should es, es like mm, less strong than can, right? Es como una sugerencia. ¿Qué puedo hacer o qué deberías hacer? That can be the main difference. Ambos tienen forma afirmativa y forma negativa. Eh, the auxiliary can. For negative is can't, right? And then should, negative shouldn't or should not. Okay, so the main point here or the main difference is, is um, can is for a stronger suggestion and should is like just a recommendation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any other question? And another important thing that is mentioned in the video is that when we are using auxiliaries, we are not going to change the verb or add S or ES, even though if we are talking about that third person singular, we are not going to modify the verb. Okay, questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, so with with a uh, use show and can, uh, I don't change uh, verb and third person. That is correct. No change okay. for third person. You're not going to change the verbs. Okay. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Any other question before we continue? Okay, if there are no more questions, we can go ahead and continue with this exercise. We're going to complete the conversation using can, can't, should, or shouldn't. And then we're going to practice. Uh, we have the first one in number one, those are five short conversations. Number one, I decide where to go on my vacation. What do you think that can complete best this sentence? Can't. I, can't. I can't. Excellent. Can't. I can't. can't. I can't decide can't. where to go on my vacation. Let it be. I'm, I'm, you should. You should. Sure. Uh -huh. sure. You should. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Yeah. So you're giving a suggestion to sure. help your. Uh huh. Very good, excellent. So, uh, questions? Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to complete the conversations. Uh, we just did it. Lo vamos a hacer así como lo acabamos de hacer, solo que en su cuadernito lo pueden ir escribiendo. And then we're going to practice. 
I'll give you some time and then we're going to practice. Finished. Okay, uh, here we're going to check the answers. As you see, the number one is the exactly the way we did it. Can't and should. Now, number two. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? You can go anytime. The weather is nice almost all year. 
E number three, should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? Now, you should definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Number four, where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. Number five, what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? You can see all of Paris, but in bad where you can't see anything. Okay, questions? Okay, no questions. I'm going to create uh, uh, teacher. Yes. Teacher, in the answer number five and letter A, can is a is ability, not is suggest. Yeah, right. In which one? And number five, letter eight. What can I see from the info tower? Um, yes, it can be more on. And remember that is for ability and also for uh, suggestions, but yes, mm -hmm. in this case, it's like the ability. ¿Qué es lo que puedo yeah. ver ahí? Ah, yeah. puede ver tal cosa. That's okay. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, what is hourly in Bangkok? Oh, uh, jewelry. Jewelry. Uh, yeah, jewelry is like joyerías. Uh, in general, yeah, that can be earrings, uh, aretes, jewelry. Yes. Any other question? Okay, I'm going to create the breakout rooms. We're going to practice for the first time because last week we had some issues with this, but now it is working properly. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms so you can practice these short conversations in groups. Remember to take turns and practice them. And uh, let's see, you will see the pop-up message on the screen, click join or unirse. Tienen que dar click join or unirse y luego pues verán nuevamente cuando el tiempo se termine para salir. So right now we're going to practice these conversations in groups. Remember that you have it in the material it's in the PowerPoint that I sent you. So um, let's see. Okay, there is the message for you to join the sections. Okay, who's not joining? Okay, you're there, yes. Can't falter. 
let it flow. Se me une y comenzamos. Here having some issues sharing the screen. <laughs> uh, desde el grupo lo estamos viendo, Miss. Oh, really? Okay, yes. but you can go ahead and share the screen. Nadie puede compartir la pantalla. No. No. No, no se todavía. pudo, teacher. Dice que es solo el anfitrión todavía, pero desde el grupo la vamos a leer y solo hemos hab habilitado los micrófonos. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, eh, ¿quién me dijo que iba a practicar conmigo? Yo, Ana. Ok, Ana. Comienzo. I can decide where to go on my vacation. You should, you should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. I'm planning to go to Bogotá next year. When do you think I should go? You can go any anytime. The weather is nice almost, almost all year. Should, should I rent a car when I, I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? recommend? No, you should finally use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Where can I get where can I get some nice heavily in Bangkok? You shouldn't miss the weekend weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? You can see all of Paris, but in bad weather you can't see anything miss solo i have a question what is the meaning that uh heavily or where no or uh how i um the what is the pronunciation what is the pronunciation the correct pronunciation heavily it's you like jewelry jewelry yes jewelry Mm -hmm. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go, Alfredo. ¿Quiénes siguen? Me. ¿Quién más? Milton. Okay, eh, empiezo. Okay. I can decide where to go on my vacation. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. I'm I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? You can go anytime. The weather is nice almost all the year. Should I rent a car when I arrive? In Cairo, what do you recommend? No, you should you should definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Where uh, where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? 
You shouldn't miss the weekend market is the best place for fair games. What can I see from the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower? You can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. Okay, thank you. Okay, good job. So let's practice here. Arrive. 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 Jewelry. Jewelry. It's okay. Excellent. And then the others. Efficient. 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 Yes. Um, Efficient. Quiero ver. Ana, trate de compartir ahora su pantalla. Okay. No. No, no se puede. No se puede. No. Bueno, ni modo. <ríe> Qué raro. Y ahorita le habilita una función que creía yo que esa era, pero a saber. Ya vamos solo a descubrir usted, cómo. Solo usted tiene el poder, teacher. <ríe> sí, es que nos setearon varias cosas aquí, pero ajá. Ya vamos a ver, por lo menos ya nos habilitaron y podemos hacer los breakout rooms. <ríe> y así poco a poco vamos a recuperar el control. <ríe> sí, ya voy a ver cómo es para que ustedes puedan compartir su pantalla, porque sí, eso facilita bastante. Ya voy a sí. buscar, porque sí, acabo de modificar una cosita, pero al parecer no era eso. Porque todavía no pueden, ¿verdad? No, no se puede. Aún. Ajá, toqué, pero nos decía habilitar control remoto. Para ustedes y, y no, no pasó nada. We can't, teacher. Okay, um, at this moment, no, but I'm going to ask. Voy a preguntar, porque sí, a veces pasa que, que se ponen como a travesear y, y entonces interrumpe la clase porque a veces se ponen a hacer manchones en lo que estamos presentando. Entonces me imagino que por ahí ha de ir, pero voy a preguntar si lo han deshabilitado o si lo podemos habilitar o cómo, cómo está funcionando eso. Porque sí teníamos la función. Pero no la pude habilitar yo tampoco. So I'm going to ask. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, no worries. And thank you for letting me know. Okay, I think that we have practiced now. But let me continue sharing. Voy a compartir una vez más y ya luego ya, ya nos queda un poquito tiempo, un minuto. Okay, you can continue practicing. Ok, no sé si Glenda puedes ayudarme. Claro que sí. Okay. Eh, si quieres comience y yo sigo. Ok. I can't decide where to go on my vacation. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? You can go uh, you can go anytime. Ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Yes. You can go anytime. The weather is nice almost all years. Should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? No, you should definitely, definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's is the best place for it's the best place for bear game. What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? You can see all of Paris, but in bad weather you can't see anything. Okay. Gracias. Okay, very good. Just from efficient. You get efficient. Uh -huh. efficient. 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 Uh -huh. oh. Efficient. Efficient. Okay. Efficient. Plus. Okay, so I think that everybody is in the main section yes a uh, teacher yes um uh, the soon uh i can't uh allow me to share my my screen is an uh, inability function for a uh, hospedador 
I didn't do anything. <laughs> Les aseguro que no he tocado nada. Ahorita estaba en un grupo queriendo ver cómo hacer y aquí me voy y le doy video settings y con share screen voy a poner CSI side by side mode. Ok, trate ahora a alguien de compartir, Walter. Ok. No, de anfitrión inhabilitó la función de compartir pantalla de los participantes. Qué raro, bueno. So warning. Ah, ya la configuración general, teacher. Quizás. Verdad que sí, sí. porque no, no me... Ya le puse aquí, enable the remote control for all participants. Le di clic ahí como para habilitarles el control remoto a todos. Y no es ahí tampoco. Es que no te feature content to some window. Trate ahora. Teacher. Teacher. It's the same problem, teacher. Okay. ¿Sí? Es que yo creo que hoy sí la teacher quería ver quién había descargado la, plata, el, el, la tarea que nos mandó. <risa> <risa> no, estaba... Es, no, me imagino que pues... Voy a preguntar a administración si es que han deshabilitado la función para que, uh -huh. si es posible, me habilite porque es muy útil. A veces puede ser de que, pero no, no, no nos dijeron nada de estos cambios. En lo de los breakout rooms, se acuerdan que no lo podíamos hacer, pero lo solucionaron. Entonces yo voy a preguntar mañana eh, cómo hacer para que la... A veces, teacher, lo desconfiguran porque los estudiantes o los participantes lo hacen por error, vea, que activan uh -huh. su, su, su pantalla. Teacher, una pregunta, aprovechando la interrupción que, que, que hice. Eh, ¿Podría existir otra opción de respuesta, teacher, en el caso de, ya le digo, de, de lo que acabamos de estar repasando? El 3B, donde dice, no, you show... Eh, que empieza ahí, ¿verdad? Este se podría dar como otra opción de respuesta, como um, haciendo con el should not o should, pero con el complemento de otra de otra situación. Eh, sí, de... sí, ahí pueden complementar, aunque el 3 es que le pregunto, should ¿Sí? I rent a card? S, should I rent a card? No, uh -huh. you should definitely use the subway. Ajá, uh -huh. o le puede poner, no, you should definitely call an Uber or you should definitely get a taxi or take the bus. Yes, you can change that. Mm, okay, thank you, teacher. You're more than welcome. Trate otra vez, Walter, le, le cambié otra cosa aquí. A ver si no pauso el video y nos vemos el viernes. The same problem, teacher. The same. Entonces voy a preguntar. Yeah. Porque si ya, ya le di donde dice show all sharing options, tampoco es ahí. Uh, puede ser quizás por ellos. Uh -huh. Sí, voy a preguntar entonces. Eh, voy a preguntar mañana cómo se habilita o qué es lo que le hemos de tocar por acá. Ok, uh, do you have any other question about the exercise? No questions? Okay, so uh, we will continue then with the next thing. With this, uh, we're going, yes, we will be finishing the, the section number one. And then in the section number three, we're going to talk about health problems. And we will also continue uh, providing suggestions. So let us review the vocabulary on the video and then we're going to practice this. Video models. Okay. And I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to uh, take a look at the first content of the section number two, which is titled, It Really Works. We're going to discuss 
health problems. And we're going to check the vocabulary first. Let me check if I'm sure now. Okay. I'm done. Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want On our discussion Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Okay, so and let's go back to the presentation. This is the vocabulary that you already listen to in the platform. Let's see. Those are the most common health complaints that we may have. We have a headache, a backache, sore muscle, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. Questions related to this vocabulary? I think uh, the, a cold and the flu is the same thing. I uh, saw that. <laughs> <laughs> the the difference is between the when you have a cold, uh, you usually just have a runny nose. Uh -huh. You just got the runny nose, uh, and and you're like constipated. Uh, but the, okay. the, the flu is el combo completo. You get fever, <laughs> cough, you you get the runny okay. nose. Es como un resfriado es más relacionado con el. el La congestión nasal, Exacto. el frío. Okay. O hay personas que solo les da tos, cough. Mm. Okay. Y de flu es como ya el combo, ¿verdad? Tiene fiebre, tiene moquillos, tiene tos, tiene estornudos. Es como más severo, de flu. Teacher, eh, ¿con qué otros dolores del cuerpo podemos asociar la palabra sore? Aparte de muscles, ab muscles aparte de throat. Knees. Knees. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the sore knees is the uh, um, sí. ¿Qué son los knees? <laughs> las rodillas. <laughs> ah, sí. Rodillas. <laughs> es que me confunden las knees. Knee con los tobillos. Ankle. Yes. <laughs> ankle. Siempre tengo que rebobinar cuál es. Okay. Cuál es But ankle. Are, are yeah. A sore. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is another word, this swollen. Swollen. Ah. Do you know what is that one? Swollen. No. Inflamado. Cuando algo oh. está inflamado, it's swollen. Okay. So you can oh, say, oh, my, oh. my knees are swollen. En ese caso, si tenemos que acompañarlo de el, el verbo to be, de cero estar, ¿verdad? Si usted dice, mis rodillas están hinchadas, my, my knees eye. are swollen. Mm -hmm. Sure. My eyes are swollen. Uh huh. That's okay. yes. Uh huh. Dolor de muela. Ese sí tiene to take. Uh huh. To take. Ese sí tiene su 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 propio. Con ache. Uh, Nate. Yeah. Yeah. The proper name. Yeah. That to take. Any other question that you may have in regards of the vocabulary? Can you make teacher the pronunciation of muscles? Muscles. Muscle. Muscles. Muscles. Uh huh. Sure, yeah, muscles. Muscles. Ah, muscles. Okay, muscles. Sure, muscles. 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 Muscles.
A back cake. Back cake. A stomach cake. Stomach Can you mention cake. some other common health complaints? An earache, uh huh, earache. Uh huh. Any other common health complaint? Pa. Teacher, a cold, a cough, the flu, the same COVID 19. Cough <laughs> and flu, yes. Uh, uh, now it's, it's like, uh, yeah, you, you cannot say, ah, I just have a flu or it's a common um, cough. So you have to get go and see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a teacher uh, exists heart cake. Yes. Okay. The heartache. Okay. Okay. I think it's the one for the police. Heartache. Ah, yes. Heartaches. <laughs> Como duele mi pobre corazón. With every step. <laughs> Take yes, heart yes, heartache at this dolor de corazón. Yes. Okay. Any other question? Any other complaint? That you, uh, have you heard any of this one? I think that I suffer from insomnia. What about you? You drink a lot of coffee, teacher, during the day. This is your problem. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I have tried to reduce or, or I have tried to, to quit it, but yeah. it's just I can't. In <laughs> migraña. Migraine. Migraine. Yeah, migraine. Do you suffer from migraines, Alfredo? A ver, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Oh. El, el, el exceso, exceso, estrés. Sí. Mm. El exceso de estrés, bad teacher. That can be one. You need to find a way to canalize that stress. Yes. Teacher, ¿cómo digo yo padezco migraña? I suffer from, es como decir, yo sufro de, I suffer from migraines. I suffer from migraines. Ay, ¿a dónde estaba escribiendo? So I'm going to write in the chat. I I suffer. And uh, that is in the chat. I suffer from migraine. Mm -hmm. Cuando este que vamos a hablar de un padecimiento, se dice I suffer from. Mm -hmm. Cuando ya es algo crónico, un padecimiento, I suffer from. It will be, uh, I suffer from high pressure blood. Yes. Okay. Hypertension or uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure. Yes. Okay. I suffer from. I suffer from, and you mentioned the, if it is hypertension or diabetes. Right? Any other question? Because we're going to be using this vocabulary, so it is good to review vocabulary or to define some more vocabulary that you would like to use for this section. What do you know, what do you do whenever you have a migraine, Alfredo? What do you usually do whenever you have a migraine? Um. Uh, 
tea. You drink tea? You drink tea? Oh, come. Uh -huh. so, no, for example, I, in my case, I suffer from insomnia. When I am not able to sleep and I need, I do really need to sleep. Uh, what I do is to have a, a glass of hot milk. A glass of hot milk or a cup of hot tea helps me. What about you? When you have a migraine, what do you usually do? Um, tea. Tea. I drink tea. Oh, you drink tea. It yes. helps you. Okay, very good. Any other volunteer? So you can say, whenever I, que siempre que tengo tal cosa, esto es lo que hago. Okay. Anybody else would like to participate? Whenever I take a pills. Okay, whenever you have a headache, you take pills, probably. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Mauricio. Any other volunteer? Any other volunteer? When a teacher, for example, when I when I suffer from a migraine, migraine, migraine. migraine I I take a rest. Excellent. Very good example. Thank you so much, Milton. Any other volunteer? Okay. Teacher, how yeah. do you say me encierro? I lock down myself. Lock, okay. I lock down. Okay. When I have a headache, how do you say? I enter my, uh, I don't know how do you say. I lock down. Ya lo escribí. I, I, I lock down myself. Ah, okay. When I have a, when I have a headache, I lock down my room. Or my bedroom. Oh, I lock down myself in my room. Yeah. Okay, that is is a good my, thing to do. And close my curtains. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Nice. Okay, so we're going to continue tomorrow with this topic, and um, thank you for joining. I won't take more of your time. I know that you are tired. So get some rest and uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. See you Bye, tomorrow. Everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you, partner. Good night. 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 Good